What are you most nervous about? I guess flying right seat would be the first one. That was a big shock. Um, I'm a little more anxious for that one. I wouldn't say nervous, but I think I'm most nervous about the equipment. Um, I've never actually been able to use the Avidyne. Um, there might be a Dynon in there as well, but I've actually never been able to use that. I'm a little nervous about making sure that I can get all that to work properly, but um, most of the stuff I will be doing with him is maneuvers anyway. So as long as I got my heading and my airspeed, I feel pretty confident with that one. Delta Yankee, Lima Yankee, November. Direct Diddy, Delta Direct India, Diddy. Delta Delta Love Yankee, Diddy. and then I filed. Big Diddy fan. Two thousand. Expect three thousand. Ten minutes later, departure frequency oh, one two six so point eight. Squawk four. You are so four, fun. Thank two. you. I appreciate that. Gotta have a good time with it, right? Yeah, yeah. So my name is Hunter Timko. I am 27 years old and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, it's funny. So I come from, my, my dad's a pilot, however, we're not the biggest aviation family. My mom and my brother are not um, the biggest fans of aviation. So when I came out guns ablaze and really trying to fly, oh my gosh, my dad was so happy for it. Um, but yeah, just find something to be passionate about, but also share that passion with someone is also extremely beneficial and rewarding. and seeing him the way he lights up when I do something or if I'm having a bad time or I'm not getting something, him being that support for me is honestly just unmatched and I don't think I could have done it without him. So yeah, I, when I um, unfortunately failed my first check ride and he actually surprised me, showed up at the end and he flew back with me, just, you know, make sure I got home safe and this and that. He's like, I know you can do it, sweetie, but let's just go with you. You know, it's not a big deal. We'll try again tomorrow. We'll pick it up and we'll continue on. So just having someone that's like, so confident and trusting and loving and no matter what and always showing the bright side to it really is just so positive and awesome, you know? Crazy that you can have such highs in this career, but you can have such lows. And I think my journey is about just pushing forward constantly. Um, I'm an emotional person. I may have cried once or twice in the plane, but as long as I get back in that plane and keep going, I think that's what matters. Um, so my journey's honestly just about been pushing myself and testing myself and seeing what I actually am capable of and then surprising me with actually going further than that. My name's Holly Bott and I am from Texas, uh, northwest of San Antonio. Um, and I'm the mother of three wonderful children. When I got my commercial, I was flying a 172 and I transitioned to a glass cockpit, the G1000. So that was a huge learning curve. So for Holly, it was a lot of firsts. First time in the right seat, first time in this part of the state of Florida, first time out of this airport, first time flying with myself. Although we've met at Oshkosh and everything else, it can be a little intimidating flying with somebody new sometime. First time in an SR-22. There was just so many firsts to this. It's your Charlie Ground Runway 23 via Bravo and Delta. Bravo Delta 23, thanks, 5 Sierra Charlie. Left turn map, followed by another left turn. Got your safe taxi pulled up so you can see nice. it. I like that. We're at two, three, and you can see it's Bravo Delta all the way. Clear right, clear left. Good job. Don't forget to breathe, relax. I Life is good. You've got air conditioning. Got all, you just fly with all your friends. There's no big deal. Life is good. <laughs> no, I'm having a blast. When you go into a flight like that, you really have two options. You can focus on, oh my goodness, there's so many firsts, it's overwhelming. Or you can step back and say, you know what? Yes, there's a lot of new things, but I'm here to learn. And I may fly great, I may fly somewhere in between, but my goal is to walk away saying, I learned something and that makes me a better pilot. I think when you have that level of humility and self-awareness, you can really get something out. And that's what everybody really did through this entire fly with Jason's sweepstakes. I, you know, I always talk about Jason's nuggets of information. I just know when I go up today, I'm going to get some sort of nugget that I'm going to hear in my ear for the rest of my career as he's going to help me some way, somehow be a better CFI. You know, Holly is someone though too, and I know when she's shared uh, with me her story, someone who is just used to adversity and takes that adversity and turns it into good and turns it into the benefit just doesn't stop. So I knew she was someone who's going to be definitely up for the challenge with that. A level left turn to south, please. All right.
try not to climb this time. Yeah, watch that nose. Remember, we said it takes two and a half for a steep turn. If we're just yeah. trying to do a little turn, there you go. 654 Lima Charlie, runway 5, turn left on course, clear for It takeoff. feels like I'm uh, two, diving in this seat. Two, three, left it does. I feel like I'm a way too nose low. Well, the left seat, again, you have yeah. all that perspective to look that way. It's, on on left turn, I'm sorry. Two, three today. Good. South, correct? Yes, perfect. That was much better. Yes. I've always known I wanted to uh, fly airplanes and be into aviation. However, when college came around, I wasn't necessarily ready to go down that path. And I think it's probably better because it is an expensive hobby and a lifestyle and dream. And to be committed to it, I think it was best that I did wait till I was 27 so I could fully invest myself into it. And at that point, I knew it was what I wanted to do. I had to sit down and be like, okay, am I going to use this degree or am I going to go for something that I've always wanted to do? Airspeed's alive. Indicator's is all green. Let's go. Push that nose forward just a bit. Good job. Awesome. I found a picture from like third grade. It says, I want to be a pilot. So I kind of always knew along the time that that was something I'd want to do. But when it actually, you know, came into fruition and we started doing it, it was just unbelievable. Honestly, it's the coolest feeling in the world to do this. So awesome job. Easy. Gently. Hands on the throttle. Yep, good. Kind of want a little bit more trim down. Yep. There we go. Hands on the bottom. Good. Two, three outside, two, three inside. Yes, good job. Looking awesome. Thank you. Right into the sun, huh? Absolutely. Why not? All right. Look good. At 700 feet, we'll make a left turn. Heading south, please. Right base to runway. Left turn to the south at 700. All right, we'll do the right base for two, three, one uniform tango. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, Holly and I, so Holly rode along with me, which was awesome. She was so sweet the whole time. Um, we're just looking outside and I'm like, I can't believe this is where you train at. This is what you get to see every day. And he's like, eh, it's Florida. So it's funny seeing someone who lives here gets to see all that beauty, you know, kind of used to it. Whereas I'm like, there's a dolphin over there. Let's go over there and see it. So it was definitely a really cool change from my hilly Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to just you know, the beautiful beach and all the canals and stuff like that. All right, 700 seven feet, feet due south, please. South on the shoreline with Alpha and South Pole Time. Runway 678, Juliet, Naples Tower to midfield, wow. left downwind, runway 2 Pretty awesome, three, huh? That's beautiful. South. A little different than Pennsylvania. Oh, my south, goodness. Or south. 618, left off, one cup. Good job. Alpha 1, and over the ground, you as well. What would you like me up to today? I will bug you for... 3,000 You know, I've, I've had a great life. I've got three wonderful children, but it has not been easy. I've had numerous curveballs, uh, tow trucks, as Jason said in the last webinar, many tow trucks in my life. It has not been easy, um, you know, from my marriage falling apart years ago to um, raising three teenagers alone. Um, that was so difficult. Um, in 2013, um, I got cancer, had breast cancer. Um, girls, get your mammograms. Saved my life. Um, but I had cancer, and it took three years out of my life. Um, really was a difficult journey while raising teenagers and you know having to do everything and, and run a house and everything my daughter Amy Lynn was going to school and she was kind of struggling and she says mom how about I do a discovery flight or I want to be a what do you think about me being a pilot and of course I'm like uh, yeah let's go so I was so excited the next day like we were down you know taking a discovery flight and I was in the back seat and of course she's a natural and she's already blown past me she's already CFI in the or TCI in the Sierras I'm so proud of her um, but I sat in that back seat and I said I have been saying for 26 years I want to get flying again and I've never done it and then I had a lot of roadblocks and I just made the decision I was going to change my whole life for aviation and I did I retired from my job, I downsized, I flipped that house, I moved to another house, flipped that house, and moved right to the airport where I live now so that I could fly 
and it took me a year, a little over a year to get my commercial certificate. It was tough. It was through COVID and life and working and everything and I thought I'd never get it and my main thing for people is even in the midst of it when you're really struggling and you think I will never get there, nothing is ever going to happen for me, you'll get there if you keep trying. Don't give up. I didn't give up. I wanted to quit flying many times after a flight, I'd have a bad flight, go home crying. I quit, I quit, I quit. And I'd get back up the next day and have a good day and be like, all right, I just gotta remember the good days. And I just kept flying and kept flying and finally got, you know, earned that certificate, the greatest day. It was like 26 years in the world. It was so, it was wonderful. So don't give up, keep trying. Even if you're sick, if you have death in your family, everything, just keep going. You'll get there. <laughs> I love it. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'm trying not to like I'm cry. cry. I mean, it's like it's so emotional. That's so why I don't ever talk about all that. We took off out over the ocean and I'm looking out and it was just like this vast expanse of nothing. And that was shocking. Um, then we took a, a turn. I think we went south and he's like, all right, take a moment and just and raise in the back going deep breaths, deep breaths, you know, hold your, hold your breath. And so I'd be like, thank you. And I'd relax a little bit and then Jason's like look out the window and enjoy it so I you know I, I looked out it was just I've never flown over a coastline before so it was beautiful to see all the little islands and see the boats down there and then we just flew south for a while and then we started doing some turns and maneuvers we only did a few maneuvers today we did, I was I had some issues <laughs> <laughs> I had some right seat issues for sure. <laughs> Five mile All right, final. give me a straight ahead descent straight to 3,000 feet, Five please. Final. Set to 3,000. Yes, please. Two. Your programming but technology is really, really good, by the way. Oh, thanks. It is just a matter of getting this silly right seat down. That's all it is. All right, excellent job, ma'am. All right, let's keep it going down. Let's go down to 2,000 feet now. Runway 23, clear for takeoff. On a heading of north. Right turn 270, runway 23, clear for takeoff. Jet at 187, contact Fort Wayne. There you go, good. Follow the departure, have a day. That's cool, we're powered this time. I'm trying to build, so you understand where my mind's going, since we've had this tendency of climbing on turns, trying to build some descents in the turns to reinforce that privacy of people that knows about this looks like level, but because we took power back is why we're actually descending through all that. Or would you like to try to shoot an approach and see what that's like from the right seat? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, climb yeah. us up to 3,000 feet. Number three, two, on a heading one, of uh, uh, three, three, base, three, runway two, three, 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 four, three zero. Miles. Warren Fort Myers, Cirrus 515, Sierra Charlie. Cirrus 515, Sierra Charlie, Fort Myers approach. Over Barco Island, 2,500 feet, hoping to shoot uh, practice GPS 23 to a full stop in Naples if you're available. Sirius 515, Sierra Charlie, squawk 0434. 0434, 5 Sierra Charlie. I've got maybe 40 hours in a, in a Cirrus SR20. And I haven't flown since August, so I'm very, I'm non proficient at everything. So it was not routine in that, that aspect. Everything like was almost brand new. And adding on the nerves that I had today um, caused me to make a lot of little mistakes. No, oh, act to enter. Oh. Number 8245, Charlie Cockett, Miami Center, 127.2. 3,000 feet, let's head that way. Oh, look at all that. I climbed 100 something feet yeah, just so doing all that so programming. Easy. Yeah, it's so easy to do. Number 662, Delta Sierra, contact approach 134.42. Now, just so you know, I have not hand flown an approach in this. Oh, it's all it's good. It's always been autopilot, so. Well, we'll practice together then. How's that sound? It could be a complete, you know what? No, it will not happen. All right. You got it. You're doing great. It's um, very different. Your entire sight picture is different. The, the instrument you're normally, you know, you're looking at the PFD straight ahead, and now I'm looking over to the left. And so, you know, what I'm perceiving is level or a bank or a turn is a whole different angle from my perspective. One of the most difficult things flying from the right seat is the parallax effect. It's looking over at the instruments, it's the new sight picture outside. Uh, early on, left turns they tend to climb, right turns they tend to descend. It was the same thing with Holly, it was the same thing with myself. There's a reason I only sit in the right seat now. In fact, sit in the left seat, I was thinking, 
This is a little weird and the sight picture is different for me as well now sitting over there in the left seat. So it was a great learning opportunity for both of us. Here Holly thinks she was learning so much in the right seat, I'm learning how to get back in the left seat again as well. Alright. Departure flex at 379, with the at 1500 for 2000. 3, 2, 0, 4, 3, 2, 1. Watch your nose, watch your nose, we should be descending. We have information, whiskey, 645 or 6000. And I felt like a part of me was going to be a mess today. And I was a little bit of a mess. And that's why Jason was there. That's why he did the radios. That's why he was doing a lot of my bugging. All right, we are down to 1600 at this point, right? You're exactly right. I already got your bug for it. Thank you. I forgot a checklist here and there. I just, things that I would never normally do or forget because I've done them so many times, I forgot today. My nerves got to me. And I knew going into this that that was going to happen. And, you know, of course, raising the back seat, you're doing great, don't worry about it. Jason's like, you're doing great, don't worry about it, it's totally fine. They kept encouraging me that, don't worry about it, we got you, we got your checklist. Don't worry about it, forget the checklist on the, the, P the MFD, let's just all do the checklist, you just fly the airplane. Because I was flying the approach by hand, that was like, I'm like, ah, I was like trying to, I, I've never done that. That was all new to me. Here's your heading, roll out. This is hard to hand fly these, Bray. How did you do this? I'm so Bring impressed. Up. Go thirty percent of power. And show us a beautiful landing, please. Oh goodness gracious. That nose coming down. Great. Alright, I feel like I am left of center line right now. You are right of center line right now. I am, wow. You are still right of center line. You are on center line right now. Wow. Okay. Maybe a little more power back or a little high. Good. Now you're back on glide path. Give her that power once again, because she's gonna need it all the way to the ground. She lands almost with a little bit of power. You're left of center now. Minimums, minimums. Keep that nose coming down, baby that power back a little bit. Your speed's great, 85 over airport property is awesome. Maybe that power back and trade it for some pitch forward. Hey, Naples Stack, good morning again. I'm at a room in Lima, turn it on a 5 mile, 5 mile, 1 way, 2, 3. Good. Falcon 900, Romeo Lima, Naples Tower, runway 23, clear to land. Right center line, let's go this way. Runway 23, oh, clear to land. 900, Romeo Lima. We can transition it here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Eyes down that runway. Eyes down that runway. Hold right here. Excellent landing. Excellent landing. I thought that went on center line. Good job, Ali. It was on center line. <laughs> Let it roll, it's fine. We don't need to make Charlie. Uh, tower 9, I don't remain limited for planning purposes. We're uh, just working at the echo land, sir. Oh, Roger. Five zero, Charlie, you going to uh, Rex? Yeah, sorry about that, Miss Charlie. You want us to grab Alpha 3 and go around with ground? Yeah, that'll work. Left Alpha 3, ground point 6. You got it. I learned enough today that I feel like those elements are, I feel so much better. I feel like Okay, next time I get in the right seat, I'm going to remember what I learned today because I'm still a student. I'm a CFI student or a learner. I, I, I have a lot to learn flying that airplane from the right seat. Um, but I feel better. I feel like I, I learned enough today where if I can just do that next time and then build on that, you know, one step at a time. And that's, that's how we all learn as pilots. It's one step at a time. You build on your skills that you did the day before. Any new pilot that's struggling with anything, I always want to make them feel like we have all been there. We have all of us, we've all done dumb things. We all struggled with landings. We all struggled with maintaining altitude. We all struggled with the little tiny things that when you're 30 hours in become very natural, right? I mean, look at yeah, that, I did yeah. it. Oh my gosh. That's funny? Yeah. It's all, it's I'm telling you, it's, it's, no, nothing's wrong I mean, wrong no, with but you. I'm just like, what the heck? I just did the exact same thing we've been working on in a turn. It's okay. I, I, I've had a blast with everybody. I, you know, I met m most everybody at Oshkosh, um, and that already felt like I was meeting family after being part of the nation for three years. I feel like everybody, I just know everybody. I've interacted so much with everybody. I, I love everybody in the nation. It's emotional, I'm gonna be sad. It's like, cause when am I gonna see them again? It's emotional for me. You know, I don't have a whole lot of friends. I'm a busy person. These are my friends, the nation are my friends. And so I wanna be with them, I wanna spend time with them. So I'm gonna miss uh, seeing you guys.
That's for sure. I'll be sad when I leave tomorrow. <laughs> Looks just like my real signature. Yeah, I'm sure it does. That's all that counts. Thank you so much. Thank you. You did so awesome. I love it. Thank Good you. job. We got that book. All right, next. Ruben. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hey, how many counterweights does the 172 have? In the aileron? One, two. Pick a number, none or two. Two. Oh, two. well. One, okay. two, three. See the three bars there? Yeah. Three counterweights. Okay, cool. It, why does it have counterweights? I didn't know it had counterweights. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, is she high energy or what? She, her pre-flight was hilarious. You know, I always teach if you get distracted on your pre-flight, go back three items. Our pre-flight took 35 minutes because she kept getting distracted. Every, every single time something would fly by or someone would say something funny. And then she was really utilizing her fanny pack and I guarantee there's pictures of it. Checklist in the fanny pack, Gats jar over here, in the M0A, Good Pilots Always Learning Pants, the official pre-flight and plans of pants of M0A.com. Um, it was just such a good time uh, and just such a great spirit. Any packet. Any. Pack. So we start taxiing, and you know, I've been talking about that I was so nervous with the switching of the hands. For some reason, my feet were just being silly. They just like weren't working the way I thought. It's like I was laughing. I was like, I literally didn't change anything, but I think I had kind of in a way worked myself up that I was so focused on the other thing. We're gonna be VFR out to the south. We're gonna do some great maneuvering and everything else out there. Okay. You're off to a really great start. Thank you, thank you, I'm a great taxier. You're doing I great. pride myself on my taxiing. <laughs> they call me the best taxier at uh, Butler Airport. Ask anyone. <laughs> And then just taxiing through, I mean, seeing all the jets. At, when we came back, we had to hold short as this big jumbo liner was coming in or whatever, so that was awesome. Wow. Falcon. Love a front row seat for something like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Big boy. Nice and smooth. I'm also excited to have that one-on-one -on -one chance with Jason because He's heard uh, so much about my training up to this point. I mean, I feel like you guys, you really do pay attention and you've known, you know, when I took my writtens and when I was getting ready for this and that. So I'm excited to put me in a plane with him so he can actually see what I can do and like how I can perform. And I'm also excited to be able to look back with like these videos and stuff and see, you know, where I did good at, where I did bad at and what I can improve on, so. When you're comfy, could you please give me a clearing turn over to east? You're clear to the left. Nice, gentle turn. Holding level flight. Now watch that nose sneaking up on you. This is a common, common thing. Holly's going to have, uh, you know, PTSD from making that turn and the nose coming up. <laughs> the most common student pilot error moving to the right seat is making a left turn and picking up the nose. Yeah, I immediately, the first thing I thought was I should go, you know, for the loss of the vertical component, but that's maybe too much. Too much, so there's East roll out. Now give me that back around the south, please. Back around the south. Now the common student pilot errors put the nose in a dive. And let it go down, but you caught it that time, right? <laughs> so I go down. It's so easy to do because you're just not used to scanning the instruments, seeing the sight picture outside from the right seat. Put your nose up in there, just a tad. All right. Using south as the heading, show me a commercial pilot steep turn started to the left. And the left one's good, we're right into the one to the right, okay? So whenever you're ready, you're clear left. Let's, uh, hold on one second, let's see what this is, guy's up to 800 feet above us. He's over, he's coming from behind. It's north up right now, I can turn around if you want. There we go. Thank you. That's track up. So he's coming, he's up 900 feet above us. 1,000 feet above us, zooming, he's fast, so let's just give him a second. Okie dokie. Go over us. How you doing back there, Holly? I'm, I just enjoying the view. Yay! It's so pretty back here. Yay! I can't even. I'm just like, oh, Florida's amazing. It is. Am I giving you a nice, smooth commercial? Yeah, it's perfect. That's the one thing that I was constantly ingrained was smooth.
the Smooth boat. Is right. Ah, that's what you gotta do. It's awesome. cool being on the airlines and you can just feel the tiny little adjustments they oh, yeah. do. Alright, this guy's about to overtake us here in another 10 seconds and then we'll start our maneuver once we see him and feel better about it. Alrighty, starting on the south. We'll see how the first one goes. If it's good, we'll roll into the second. Yes. Okie dokie. He's 2,000 above us now, oh, okay. Hunter. I think we're all right. So let's just roll on that one to the left. Whenever you're ready, you're clear left. Whole different view. Um, when we were something as little as, you know, a turn to the left or the turn to the right, um, that turn to the left, I thought we were just climbing and climbing. And it's just literally the airplane turning outside. And I'm just at a little a bit of a higher thing. I thought we were climbing. He's like, moves down. So something as simple as these turns, it was definitely, it took me a second to kind of play around with it and get it. But um, instead of, you know, you always have to look outside, but I really had to rely on my instruments a lot more um, than I would say normally at first for now. Um, yeah, I really had to rely on those to get it under control and everything. Watch you shoot your nose to the moon. Too much moon, too much moon, gotcha. Too much moon, too much moon, lower that nose, lower, there you go, perfect. Good. Looking for traffic. Yeah, I'm on. Much better. Much better. All right. Good job. Here comes south. Give me one right back into the right, please. That was perfect. All righty. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. Nose down. Maybe a touch of nose up. up. There you go, touch your nose up is right. Oop, there we go. Alright. Looking at my sight picture. Looking outside. Good. Looking outside. Great, awesome, awesome job. Touch your nose up, get that altitude back in. I like how you talk out loud, that's great. Airspeed's looking good. Sure is. Altitude's already. We're coming around. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. And two trims down. Really good job, Hunter. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All right, give me a left turn right east, please. Left turn east. The thing I really liked about Hunter's flying, and I always try to instill this in my learners, my students, talk your way through things talk and hunter has no problem talking her way through her flight maneuvers she was talking herself when she was making mistakes she was talking herself when she was doing great um, and that goes a long way it helps another instructor or check out examiner know what's going on and that you're thinking ahead of the airplane good all right on a one two zero i would like you to maintain this pitch attitude and take us into um, a power off stall essentially bring the power back Hold this pitch attitude and recover. I know we don't have flaps or anything like that. Let's just do an introductory stall. Uh, first indication or full stall? No, full stall, please. Good question. Power back, pitch up. Yep, yeah, power back, pitch up. We're just going to do a little baby stall. Oh, gosh. Okay, on the right side, it's crazy. It's a little crazy. There she is. Push her forward. Oop, don't forget your carby. Thing. Good. Not too shabby. Right. While you're recovering, give me a right turn. 180 south, please. Right 180. Back All up right. to three. Good job. That wasn't so bad. Not so bad. Actually, I kind of enjoyed it better on this side. Yeah? I don't know why. I weirdly... <laughs> Maybe it's 2-3 Mike Zula. Maybe, Maybe that's what it is. It's, it's gotta you, be. It's you and 2-3 Mike Zula are just giving that. me the calmness. We love it. I don't it. know about that. About <laughs> that. We then got a chance to do some right seat crosswind landings at Marco Island, which was really intimidating because it's just, Marco Island is all man-made, so it's just marsh and marsh, and then, oh, by the way, there's a little airport here. Five. Maybe a little more aggressive to get through these clouds. Right seat crosswind landings. Land. It wasn't on the syllabus, I apologize. It's just too good of an opportunity to pass up. <laughs> okay. The takeoff lesson is, uh, Wonky as I thought it would be. No, it was great. If anything, am I I'm It was the pilot who made it non-wonky. It was a, it was a non-wonky takeoff yeah. thanks to the pilot. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. And Marco, on traffic sky to the Mike Zulu's uh, entering a left downwind for 1-7, Marco. Oh, you've got the downwind, 
Gently, buddy. Thank Looking you. Looking good. It's 1,000 feet. Pretty easy. AGL and MSL are exactly the same. Airport elevation's 8. We love that. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the 8. Marco Island traffic, November 19 or 59 or 2. Taxi to runway 17. Marco Island traffic. Am I in my white arc? I believe I am. Yeah, you're good. 110. Okay. 1, yeah. 2, and 3. And still on the throttle. That's that go. You don't have to turn, I'm just calling early since there's people down here. And Marco on traffic, Scott, 2 3 Mike Zulu is turning left base 1 7, touch and go, Marco. Polo. And that's what someone should say after that. Like, it only really seems necessary. Turn your base whenever you want. I was just making the call early because that guy was taxing out and I wanted to let him know. Alright. I'm going to slow this down a little. Yeah, we're getting a little low. Okay. We lost a lot. We're at, like, normally at 500 feet per minute, we've been doing about 700 feet per minute this entire time. Okay. I'm going to nose up because I'm a little fast, so that works out. Yeah, good trade. Bringing it around town. This is a nice normal landing, nothing fancy. Alrighty. We'll watch and make sure the winds are what they say Ooh. they are. Alrighty, I got all tangled up on my headset. You good? I, I'm good, I'm good, yes, okay. thank you. Um, I only got notch, I'm going to do one and three. Good. Final looks clear to me. Not seen it. And Marco Island traffic, Skyhawk 2 Mike Zulu is turning final, runway 17, touch and go, Marco. A little bit low. Normally I hear that 500 foot call out as soon as I turn final, so yeah, good call. Again, if we lost the engine, I don't know if we're going to make the airport. I see what you mean, absolutely. I'd rather you be a little high than, than dragging it in. I don't uh, want to leave, I mean, because if, if you lose your engine, we're, we're swimming in Marshland. <sighs> No alligators for Holly. Got it. Yeah, oh, well, no. it's salt water, so it'd be sharks. Uh, and pythons. Course. Pythons. That's, yeah. That works. Now you're good. Now you're on glide path. Bring that power back. Nurse this thing on over and in. Fast. I, that guy may have been right with a tailwind. I felt that little gust, didn't you? Absolutely. We'll see. If so, we can switch it around. Let's be a normal tailwind landing. I mean, no big deal. I'm from <laughs> right seat. Of course it is. Alrighty, a little fast. Well, yeah, I'm getting I, I think we do have a tailwind. I'm getting a lot of speed, like 90. Alrighty. Oh, pulling power. I think I'm full power out. Yep. I have no power left in. Good. Back, transition. Yeah, we definitely either have a tailwind or something. Good job. Oh, we have a crosswind. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Flaps up, Carmine. I got your flaps, you go. Now we have a direct crossing from the right. Well, let's go. Good job. Yeah, you got a direct crossing from the right, so. Oh, from the right, I'm sorry. I totally thought left. No, no, up. no. I just, I was trying to judge that what, where'd that speed come from on final? I don't think you did, did you anything. Yeah, we, we got I up to like I physically felt it. No, I don't think you did anything. I think we caught, I think the winds are kind of swirling. A little squirrely, that's okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give myself a little trim. That'll help. Power is in car beat. Goodness. Yep, no problem. We just need all the power we can get. All righty. Trees climbing out. Beautiful. Now that we truly know and understand where the winds are, let's stay in the pattern. Let's just show me one more normal one, please. All righty. I turn left crosswind and I was not crabbing towards the runway and I had gotten pushed out there. And I was kind of laughing to myself. I'm like, this is something you learn in private. And here I am, I did just turn my commercial, but you know, there's just still things you need to work on continuously and constantly be thinking about. So that was one that was a good like, okay, take it back to the basics. You know what you're supposed to do. Don't forget about it. Good job, Marco Hold Island on traffic, two. November 19592, preparing for takeoff runway 17, Marco Island traffic. Preparing twice, it's the second time he's been preparing. Super prepared. He's going to be so prepared for this takeoff. And that was a good, <laughs> wow, blast me, absolutely. Okay, so I'm slowly inching back this power. I'm climbing a little bit, which I don't want. I need to lose airspeed. I'm going to pull that car peak, so I'm... Okay. I, I think it's... You want to? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm in the white arc. I'm gonna go one, two, and three. That nose down, it likes to pop up when we do that. Yep, it sure does. Alright, I got the departing traffic. Yep, he's on the runway. Yep, he's starting to roll. Looks good to me. Marco on traffic, Skyhawk 2 3 Mike Zulu's turning left base, runway 1 7. Touch and go, Marco.
So as you're coming in, you have to really just know your speeds and everything else. And we actually illustrated a very good point on our second landing. I'm always a big fan of, if you're in the traffic pattern, you should always be in a position to make that airport, at least airport property. And at one point, Hunter forgot that we had that right crosswind. So on our, on our actual crosswind turn, we were getting blown away. On the downwind, there's no crab, we're getting blown away. On base, finally she turns into what is a headwind because we're on base. And I just come over and say, you know, I'm sorry, our engine just quit. She did everything right. She was going, we're gonna make it over to the airport. We were nowhere close to the airport, but it illustrated a great point that you've got this perfectly great airport here, and then you've got marsh all over here, borderline Everglades kind of stuff. That's where we're going to end up, and we're gonna end up waiting there a long time. You always wanna be in a position to make that at least airport property, especially if you're in the traffic pattern. It's those little moments where you can create um, and build like durable primacy. I guarantee she'll never make that mistake again, really tighten up her patterns. We're gonna simulate something here. Your engine just quit. Oh. Where you going? Left base immediately. And it's not gonna be a nice pretty pattern. We're gonna get over there. Okay. Gently turning. I wanna get my best glide, excuse me. Okay. Uh, I usually go 65, what's your best glide? 70. 70. Remember, we're a little bit heavier, so it might maybe a little bit faster. It might maybe like 72, 73. Okay. I feel like, yeah, I felt like I was pretty sinking. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just full fuel, three people. I'm not gonna be on, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if we're gonna make this one. I don't think we're gonna make it either. I don't think we're gonna make and it. I want, uh, you can give it power and, and just land the airplane. Treat it like a little base here. Gotcha. I want to illustrate the point. You've got an airport in your possession right there. You should always be in a position to make that field. Our downwind was so wide that if that really happened. We couldn't even do a power off 180. Yeah. You always want to keep yourself in that position. So let's try to fly a little bit of a tighter pattern. Next time. Okay. Left cross wind, Fargo Island. We're a little bit lower, 100 feet. Well, give us some power, please. Oh, sorry about that. Thank You're you. Okay. Go power back to idle and drop it like it's hot. Got it. Power to idle. Just have 20 degrees of flaps, so you're going to float a little bit. If you want more, you can do it. But. Uh, one, two, three. Set, please. Fargo Island traffic, November 1, Niner. 5, Niner 2, turning left, downwind. Traffic, November 1, 7. <gasps> you okay? There we go. I got your flaps, you get the throttle. Got my flaps, you have Don't forget your car feet. So this time, let's fly that pattern a little bit closer. You know, and you know where we lost it? On that crosswind there. We never really had that, that it was just, we went from the departure leg, we never really had a crosswind, it's just we just made this monster U-turn to a big downwind. So I want you to focus on your headings. We're gonna fly 170 out, which means our crosswind should be just about east, right? Let's use our cardinal headings to really box in that pattern a little bit better. I want you, you should all, if you're on downwind, you should always be able to do a power off 180 and make that field. Okay. I don't care what the winds are doing, whatever it is. We actually had one funny uh, part in the, in the traffic pattern coming out of Marco. I wanna say it was our third time through. And I looked at her and said, Hunter, a perfect landing. And she finished it, starts the perfect pattern. Said, I know, Jason, I know, it's making sense now because she was flying these, like, you know, B-52 bomber kind of patterns to start. All right, just a little baby crab in there. It's much, much better. Like in the airspeed, like in the altitude. I like it all as well. This is going to be a great landing. Thank you. Because a perfect landing starts with... Absolutely, a perfect pattern. Thank you. <laughs>
2,000 feet. Thank you, just feet too, too nice. Level off here, bring some power back. Show me just one steep turn to the right, please. Gonna kill it. <laughs> one steep turn to the right. Area looks clear. Too much nose down. You're there fine. we go. You're fine. Nose is down just a little bit. Pick it up. Good. Yeah. Gotta break it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, that's there we Good job. I have bad news. Your engine just quit again. Oh! All I do is see an airport. <laughs> I know where I'd head. All right. ABCs. A is for airspeed. Probably about 75 today. It's so a little heavy. That's going to sometimes come quick. It's probably more about there. All right. B's best landing area. Where's the best landing area? What'd you say? The beach? I think it is the beach. Yeah, big old beach over there. Yeah, big old beach over there is right. There's a big old beach over here. Love it. It'd be a legitimate soft field. Awesome. All right, let's head that way. All right, I'm going to start acting like I'm going to that one. Right. Um, and I'm not using flaps or anything until I need them. All right. That's a big old runway. So I would consider this like a left base. Okay, sounds good. Okay. And, I can and then C is for checklist. We have time for a checklist? Yeah, I think we're higher enough than it's the back side space. Red side, red side. Yeah, how, how about I help you and I brief it, okay? Thank you. Airspeed 70, best place to land. Flow check, this feels like a valve confirm both. Uh, we could do this, we could try to restart it. Mixtures rich, throttle full, carpet in, turning it on, turning it on. Oh, it's dead. It's okay. officially All right. dead. All right. Are you high? Are you low? Are you feeling good? I'm high, so I'm going to crab. I'm gonna why don't you slip it? Oh, that's what I meant. Push that nose forward and slip it. And we'll discontinue at 500 feet, okay? 500 feet, discontinue. At 500 feet, we'll discontinue. We'll make a right-hand turn. We're going to buzz the beach 500 feet all the way home to celebrate. Yay! You're scaring some people right now, though. I guarantee it. Oh, absolutely. Would you like right, me to go? Here's 500 feet. Oh. Obstacle. Coming up. <laughs> Got, Got it. it. Good job. All right, give her some power. Give me a big right turn, please. Cruise the beach at 500 feet, ma'am. You don't get to do that every day in Pennsylvania. No, absolutely not. Kind of on this crazy high right now. It's a little surreal. Um, I feel good. I feel really good. I surprised myself more than I thought I would. Um, I knew going into it that, you know, be positive and you might do better than you thought and you know, you may not and that's okay. But I really did a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. Um, we did a bunch of touch and goes, which, um, you know, first time flying with the right hand and the throttle, you know, switching from the left to the right. I, you know, he told me we're gonna do a touch and go, and I was like, okay, but you know, give it a go. It went fine. Um, I think the funny part was that I was so worried about like the avionics being different. I've never used the Dynon. I was so focused on using those and not being able to understand what was going on that actually it was a lot easier. And the thing that I actually did end up messing on was getting pushed by the winds. Something you learn so basic um, from private. Um, you know, your crosswind correction. I just really underestimated how much right off the coast and from the beach, it really was just pushing me. Oh my gosh, I was so far out there. But the switching of the hands really wasn't that bad. It was very cool. People are really open in the group with, you know, sharing their faults or sharing their mishaps, but then also like lifting each other up and picking them back up. So I am very thankful that I have an, or I have an, 
you know, a place that I can go and, you know, be open like, hey, I didn't do so great on this written, I had to retake it. And you guys don't scold me, you're not yelling at me. I get so many comments of people just trying to help. So if I have all these people trying to help me, I would like to be able to do the same and reciprocate that. I don't know if I'd call myself a mentor, but I would like to call myself a friend to anyone who wants to be in the aviation community and needs help with that, so. There you go now. Stop cheating and looking outside. Okay, Fly those right. instruments. Okay. <laughs> You're doing great. Ride it out, ride it out. Back a little more, back a little more. And a little right rudder at the end. Good landing. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. You missed a greaser.